Political Quickie, your political show that subjectively discusses current affairs in South Africa and all around the world. My name is Map Asakamura. So there's currently a lot going on. There's the, you know, state capture inquiry. There is the Zimbabwean election case going on. But the one, the one current affairs headline that, you know, just completely crashes them all is Donald Trump tweeting that he has told his Secretary of State, Mike Pompeo, to keep a very watchful eye on South Africa and the expropriation of land without compensation. Because according to the information he got on Fox News, there is a genocide, a white genocide going on in South Africa. White people are being killed and their farms are being taken away. Yeah. So just to clear the air, number one, South Africa is not doing anything illegal. What they're simply doing is, you know, amending the constitution so that they can make sure that we expropriate land without compensation, which is actually a form of redress. Because, again, most of South African land that is currently in use is in the hands of white people. And this is a result of apartheid and colonialism. Like, I've done at least three episodes on the expropriation of land without compensation, so check them out. Uh, secondly, uh, you know, the four murders that are going on right now, they're actually minimal to the murder rate in South Africa. A woman is more likely to be raped. A black person is more likely to be killed than a white farmer. So it's actually not as hectic as Fox and the likes are actually making it out to be. Thirdly, the narrative of white genocide is actually, you know, perpetuated by the likes of AfriForum, who actually went to the U.S. to go seek sympathy because they're stuck in the past and they do not want to share the land so they're making up stories about how there's white genocide in this country and how white people desperately need help you know murder is not uh, something to laugh about but i think what's disgusting is afri forum and them not wanting to move along with us in democratic south africa so I know for a fact that Donald Trump does not care about shithole countries, so I actually think I've figured out what's really going on, okay? I think Donald Trump is just trying to get back at Trevor Noah. Like, Trevor Noah has roasted him so much that he, you know, has disturbed his ego and his intestines. And he's like, no, I am getting back at you. I cannot deal with you. So, but Trevor Noah, like, out of all the enemies you could make as you choose, you know, an old, ignorant, racist, sexist, delusional, to pay wearing white man. Like, come on! I think what's really going on here is the fact that Donald Trump is always trying to find a story to deflect from the real issues that he is having. Uh, for instance, Michael Cohen, his former lawyer, just pleaded guilty to eight federal crimes and has implicated the president. On another side of the story, we've got uh, his former campaign chairman, Paul Manafort, who's been found guilty on eight different charges. So it seems like, you know, uh, the Russia-Trump collusion uh, investigation is actually closing in on him. He's even having impeachment conversations with himself. He said that if he's impeached, then the market will crash because he's that important. I know you might be thinking the audacity of this man to try and tell South Africa what to do. Because, you know what, Western presidents never tell us what to do at all, right? Mm. I think maybe it's because of what happened, you know, with the U.S. Virgin islands when he didn't know that he's actually the president and he said he met with the president of the u.s virgin islands so maybe he's not you know he doesn't want to make the same mistake and he thinks that he's also the president of south africa that could be it you just never know here's the thing though even if trump really cares about this and he's not trying to deflect from paul manafort and michael cohen Here's the thing about the expropriation of land without compensation in South Africa. Not even President Matamela Cyril Ramaphosa can control it. It's not in his hands. The South African people have come to a point that I think this country will even burn if this does not happen. So it's not even in the hands of the president, right? It's in the hands of the people. So... Come hell or high waters, this is going to happen. So I think maybe Trump, if he wants to, you know, help South Africa, he should ask his, you know, European Union friends when they're bringing back our art. That's how you can help us. That's how you can really, really help us.
<laughs> Anyways, my name is Mapa Sekabura. Use a talent to serve humanity, and I will see you guys next week. Bye.